always say the odds were always stacked against me. Growing up in the Bronx could have dragged me down. My dad being locked up could have dragged me down. I never really had a real role model early on. I used all that to drive me forward and bring me to the point I'm at now. It's all up from here, but it's not going to be easy. A lot of work is needed to make it to the next level. I'm Magic Mel, and I'm the best fifth grader in the world. I'm Jamel Thomas. People call me Magic Mel because I pass like Magic Johnson. It's this kid on Instagram. I was just passing crazy spin move passing, all of that, liquor away passes. He just called me Magic Mel. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. I went to his games before, and they took the ball out, and they cleared it out for Mel. And I'm like, all right. And I'm standing right there with his pops. I'm like, all right. And they cleared it out, and he did his tween, tween, cross, all that. Cross, got past the person, and then they went and grabbed him, and he did one of these and threw it on the other side. That shit went whoosh. <laughs> I said, yo, I almost cried. That's when I knew he had it. But we got something special going on with Mel, Mel, and Kareem, so everybody in the neighborhood supports, you know, kind of gives them some encouragement. We out here right now waiting for um, Mel, Magic Mel. That's my youngest son. This is the school right here. We're waiting for him. <laughs> Growing up in the Bronx is um, kind of dangerous because you see like on the news, News 12, um, people dying, people getting killed for no reason. But growing up in the Bronx is it's cool. What's up, man? What's going on? You all right? Yeah, what okay, cool. what's up? You all right, Mel? Yeah. School gave us a lot of homework. I'm starting it now. But to feed him that, you know, because we like, you know, because he work out a lot. Him and Rain work out a lot. So I try to give him the protein mixed with the carbs. Mixed with Yeezys. Oh, did you see Yeezys? Yeah. Woo! Yeezys! Magic Mel. Chicken and rice. Salad. I get ready for my workout. Got out of school. Ate. Now it's time to put in that work in. That is jelly. My dad ain't not always been there. When he was my hair, I didn't know about basketball like that. I got caught up out here too in these streets. Like I was one of the top players in New York as a kid. But then I fell a victim to the streets myself. I did 13 years in prison due to the streets. You know, I don't want my kids going through what I went through, selling drugs. I just want my kids to have a good life. Just came out the car, ready to work, took a quick nap. Show time. There you go, King. There you go, King. You look class. Work time. Every day we in the gym, we work out for two hours. My dad, um, he pushes he pushes me and my brother to work out hard. It was a point where my sons, they really wasn't that good. They, was, they really wasn't skilled. We worked hard. And you know, they where they at today from hard work and, and grinding. And we work out a lot, so can't get tired. I don't get tired. I wanted to pick a ball because I saw my brother training and I wanted to train too. I just saw him playing ball and it inspired me to do something. It inspired me like to like not be in the house always. My brother influenced me 9 out of 10. One, two, three, set, All right. One, two. Get out. I'm a big boy. Hey. I like it. Yeah. One, two, seven, go, go. Oh. Good. 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 
I first fell in love in a game, like when I was playing with gachos. It was competition and it was fun to me, so I really wanted to play ball. My next goal is to um, win the national championship with my team Westside. Always work up after school. First you have to study, then work up, then come back home, study a little bit. Yeah. About to go have fun, David Busters. That lab work, you know the vibe. Shout out to Overtime. If you want to see more videos like that, check them out right here. And also click subscribe. Why you haven't done that yet? Subscribe.